Happy Thursday. How's everybody doing? It's your boy Adam X Millie dashing in for another Destiny 2 video. This is part three of the Time to Make Shape series here. And we are uh, picking right up from part two. We're returning to Shaw, but unfortunately right, Shaw is not here. I'm headed for the superconductor. So he goes and off and wants to go for the superconductor by himself. And we got the sparrow now, so we don't have to run. So you can change the shader here. I just have some fun here. Wanted to take a second and get some shaders in. See what I got. One with the red and the black. But the sparrow really does speed up your run time because you're not running anymore. You're sparrowing in. And I swear this is probably the funnest part of Destiny is the sparrow. Back in the day on Destiny 1, you'd fly around on this very map looking for resources, trying to find stuff that you need, shooting enemies, exploring. And it's just a beautiful landscape, especially when you're flying over it with your super fast sparrow, which you can get higher level sparrows as you continue um, in the game, all the way up to exotic, which the exotic sparrows are pretty cool. But here's our mission, Vendetta. So what we need to do now is we need to locate three chests uh, in this area here. They're pretty well uh, magnified. I thought that this one was the one over here, but it wasn't. It was just a random chest, and I got a, uh, a helmet out of it, so I was pretty happy about that. Which is great, because the loot, you want to get as much loot as you can, get the highest level items you can, and just really try to find a recipe for your subclass with your weapon style that you enjoy. That's not a chest. That's a, that's a public event chest. Don't fall for it. It's not one. But here, we find it in this cave here. A couple of jerks. Oh, okay. What are you guys doing over here? This is my chest. I claim it. There he goes. So we got a blue fusion rifle. Thought we'd rock it right here for this, for this next adventure. But uh, this... Ooh, watch out, watch out. If you call the sparrow, do not hit the boost the second you you jump into the air because you will do a front flip. I think later on in the video there is me doing that and uh, it not going well. <laughs> I think I fast forwarded through it because it was like, come on, man, cringe. But there's some thralls here, and then there's purple purple balls of death right here. That thing is lethal. Get the fusion rifle with that long ass charge rate. Damn. Stand still while I charge up. Oh, you're immune, eh? Okay, okay. But as you can see here, and actually these 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 shriekers are not nearly nearly as bad as the OG shriekers. Those things, after they would explode, they would send out purple balls of death, and they would track you down so aggressively, they would follow you around the map. You'd be like screaming, purple balls of death, and just running around. But oh, they got the high ground, eh? Well, this isn't Star Wars, because I got the big gun. There's our last chest. How dare you guard that chest? That re I require what is inside of it. Enough code fragments for me. Hey Shrieker, heads up. I need to boost my signal for the key to register though. Anybody else? No. Nope. Look at that sparrow placement though. Walk right over, pick it up, fly up out of here. I planned that out. That that was totally planned out. Oh, we hit the nitrous boost here. The sparrow, I'm telling you. If you go to a planet and just rip around on your sparrow a little bit, it, it does it does fill you with a little bit of joy with just how you can do it. But anyway, back to the mission. So these energy balls here, you're going to have to run around and pick them up. You're not really picking them up. You're just kind of spoofing through them so you can absorb their energy. And there's not very many enemies over here that are super, super challenging. Um, so you don't have to really worry about it. But it the, the different levels of the map in both areas they just give you some like different views and how to how to hey what are you guys doing in here thank you for your glimmer and your heavy ammo need it 
but actually we we don't know what happened to Shaw. So we're going to rescue rescue our bro, our brother. Shaw. Shaw, we're coming for you, Shaw. So you don't hit the boost. Oh, we hit the boost at the end there and totally didn't ruin it. Last time I did that, I did like four front flips. I was like, what the heck? When it sideways, had to flip up again. Ooh, break it down. We have that turbo boost here. Oh, this is the part where I was talking about right here. Look at this. The failure. Are you, what? What is happening? We're going to call another start. Oh, we're upside down. Now we're, now we're right side up. We shoot it. And chest! Chest. Thank you. But as we run into this room, it looks very familiar because we did play it in part two. And actually, that part in part two right here gets dark in the darkness. Boom, right here, take out these acolytes. If you remember, we take a right and go up that staircase to the right. This was actually blocked by arc energy. So we're now in that zone there. And we're about to use what those code fragments and all that energy was for right here at this door to open up this door to get in to, f to find Shaw. Shaw, where are you, Shaw? I'm here. And it is dark AF in here, so be careful. He did do some significant damage, and I tell you what, I fully committed to taking Nevota out. Look at this. Sweaty with the heavy right now. Sweaty. Super sweat. So focused on her that I almost get completely overwhelmed by enemy. You are not my friend, man. You are an enemy. Look at that. Look at that. Sliver. Sliver. Staying alive. Staying alive. Your shield can't protect you from this. You son of a gun. I went to go get another angle on him. Put another couple. Reload that. What a fit. Oh, got the super and everything. The boat is gone. But unfortunately, we do not get to defeat her yet. And there he is. Shaw, his, his ghost is still there. Boom. Thank goodness he survived this time. The last time I played through, he didn't make it. We couldn't let you do this alone. Nevota? She's still alive, somewhere. We did enough to force her to retreat. You fought her off? All right. You're then. damn right we did, bro. We're freaking legendary. You don't even Sorry, know us yet. Right. After Cass and Maeve, I was just afraid to lose anyone else. So were we. That's why we followed you. Nobody likes to be sidelined. I'm glad you were here. I owe you. Damn right you with me. And not just one this time. I want something big. I want a big present. If it's not a big present, I am gonna be sad. But there's our superconductor. Look at the, look at the size of that thing. That's what she said. I can feel the arc light coursing through this. No wonder the Vanguard wanna make a weapon with it. Let's head back to camp and then the last city. Home. Alright, camp. We're on our way. And once we arrive here at the camp, Shaw is actually here. There he is. Hey. Where's that big present you promised me? Again. Ooh, a ship. Nice. So there it is. We finished that sequence there. We got our ship. We can now leave the planet. And we get to go to the tower here for the first time. But make sure when you go to the tower, you do not go to the courtyard. You do the advent mission here. Because that will actually, it limits, it's a single player experience for yourself to get introduced to everything here. So here we are at the advent mission. Amanda Holiday is our first stop. Amanda is the, the lady to talk to about the ships. She also has sparrows. Green ones if you want a green one, but... You? you can play around Anything. with them and What's get up? stuff like that, but you talk to her. Pretty great. Her story uh, is interesting here in nice, Lightfall and it's the Queen's missions that, that you get later like on, which Lightfall will be the next part. 
okay, once we complete part four, secure. actually, so there's, there's a few more parts. But I, there's just something about the, the environments of Destiny. They, so they just, they're, they're beautiful. I remember chilling at the tower for a long time with friends in Destiny 1, just chilling there, just like chatting and just Looks sitting. Like the um, age tech triggered some warnings. And it was just the ships flying around, the lights. It just felt like an alive uh, experience kind of thing. So it was interesting. And it was just a, a chill experience. You know, you got to talk about Destiny because everybody had a different play style. They had different weapons, but a lot of you'd, certain situations you'd have to use specific weapons. So it just gave you time to really talk about things and just shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, have a good time. We're all guardians here. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Commander Zavala. What is up, my dude? Ah, it's you. The one that saved Shaw. You're damn right it's me. He gave me a ship. What, what do you have? Zavala's gift. So now we get to go down into his office, which is super cool. Um, you should take that as a compliment. The fact that they added this in. And actually, if you do run around at the tower, and you just kind of explore staircases and stuff, there's actually some pretty cool stuff that you can find. Some items that you can scan. They'll give you a little bit of a backstory on things. But here's the elevator right here. It does go up and down autonomously, so you don't really need to worry about it. But make sure that it's there before. <laughs> but here's our gift. Let's go. An AR, purple AR, nice. Purple's better than white, boom. But as we go up here, actually do not trip and fall right there. I thought about it. <clears throat> you didn't get me that time, maybe next time. Maybe this time, maybe this time. So after that, we gotta go talk to Ikora, which Ikora is the war, uh, warlock vanguard. Super cool character. The voice actress who plays her is actually in the TV show Suits on Netflix. If you haven't watched that, throw up Netflix shout out. <laughs> Yo, hook me up. What do you say? I heard your journey to the last city was an eventful one. Jessica, you are right. I mean, Ikora. But actually, Ikora gives you a legendary ghost shell, which is freaking awesome because you can upgrade them more. The have better attributes to it, and purple is better than green. Than but after you go down here, after you talk to Ikora, you're going to want to go downstairs into the basement, and downstairs in the dungeon, there's a dude. He's an outlaw. He's, he's one of a kind. But he is the guy that runs Gambit, which Gambit is that PvEVP, with the two teams fighting ads or uh, bots. Or whatever you want to call him, but the Drifter. How you living, brother? Not too bad, man. How about you? Got me some powerful gear because I have been playing on my other characters, but he can give you gear, materials, weapons. Got a chest piece right there, which is a huge upgrade over the blue chest piece I'm rocking right now. But after you talk to the Drifter, they're going to want to get you to go all the way back up and talk to Master Raul, which you can actually just pull up your destinations and fast travel up. And Master Raul is just to the right of when you spawn in. And this is your man when you got engrams that you want to crypt, got a scout rifle. Um, you're going to bring your, your engrams here and get those identified. Um, and also, if you bought any, if you have Prime, and your your prime is a connected shout out to prime slip me some slip me some you know what i'm saying um you get rewards here that you can use but back to raul raul also sells the materials and i can go in depth in another video uh the more in depth <clears throat> about the currencies that you can change and uh uh, you can purchase them with Glimmer if you need certain materials or you need upgrade modules or things like that. You can get them from Master Raul, which is great. But after you talk to Raul, your last step, step 20, will be to complete the strike, the Disgraced. Which once you complete that strike, that storyline will be wrapping up and part 4 will be covering that video. 
So on that note, if you found this video helpful, useful, entertaining, anything, have yourself a great day. And always remember, God bless.